Hi, I'm Steve, and if you don't know, you're about to know that I'm a pretty big fan of birds and birding. A bird nerd, if you will. It's something that was assigned to me in my ornithology class in college the spring semester of 2020 before we all got sent home. I was excited for the class, but I was nervous about learning all the different features of all the different birds and memorizing them and having to point them out on a test because that's what the tests were going to be. The exams in that class were literally going to be a class field trip to the wilderness to go birding and whatever we saw and the professor saw, he'd point and he'd go, what's that? And we'd look in our binoculars and we had to write down what it was or what we thought it was and that was the test. It was going to be open book, open note though, so like, but I was still very nervous. And it turns out there are a lot of different birds in my local area. And for this class, right at the timing that it was, right in the beginning of COVID, the beginning of the end, actually kind of worked out kind of well. When COVID first hit and everything closed, one of the only things to do was to go birding. So I would go birding a lot. From mid-March to early May, I was going birding at least once a week. One time, I went six days in a row. It got to a point, and there's still today, I frequently have, like, stress dreams about birding. Kind of a lot. I'll have a dream, this very stressful nightmare, and I'll be birding somewhere, and I'll be trying to figure out what a bird is. I'll be looking through my binoculars and looking at my field guide and trying to figure out what it is, and it keeps moving, and there's just so many things, so many birds that I haven't seen yet that I'm trying to figure out what they are, and everything keeps moving around, and it's very stressful. But one of the most interesting things that I learned in this class before we went online was that the American robin is actually a thrush. Robins aren't robins. They're thrushes. The Wisconsin State bird's name is a lie. It's not a robin. It's a thrush. And for some reason, this really bothered me. And it still does today. But it all adds up. It's why robins don't look anything like other robins that live around the world. Because they're not robins. They're thrushes. Like, why the hell is it called a robin? It should be called a red-breasted thrush. I don't understand. There's all different kinds of thrushes, and we all call them thrushes. There's a Swainson's thrush, a gray-cheeked thrush, a veery which has a very different name, <laughs> a wood thrush. Why is it called a robin? Why is it not called the red-breasted thrush? So today, after two years of thinking about this, I'm finally gonna look it up. According to the internet, <clears throat> the American robin is a large North American thrush and one of the most familiar songbirds in the eastern United States. Early colonial settlers named it Robin because its breast color resembled that of a smaller thrush, the European Robin. No, it doesn't. They hardly look similar. How anticlimactic. Of course, of course it was European settlers. What else could it have possibly been? Of course, they came over to the new land and they were like, oh, Let's make this as much like Europe as possible. You see that red-breast thrush? Let's call it a robin, because it has one similarity that isn't even that similar to what we call a robin over in Europe. I reject it, I resent it, and I dispute that it is a robin. It should be called a red-breasted thrush, and I will refer to it as such from here henceforth. How do I contact the head of the bird naming science facility and, and get a petition going on this? <sighs> well, I suppose that's it. I want to thank you for watching my tirade of stupidity. Uh, I, I do hope you enjoyed it. Make someone smile today. I hope you smiled today. Bye!